Hey you guys. I'm going to show you how I do this little beaver terrier's um, feet. Now, this is the same dog I was talking about that I flat ironed. And I'm just going to show you how lightly I, I trim these feet to make them look really pretty. So what I do is I pull in all this long hair. So I don't want to really cut that long hair, but I run around the foot out. So I'll use my scissor, I'll find the toe. Now I already cut her nails and did her pads. And I'm just going to follow the shape of her foot and give her a pretty little round foot holding this long hair out of the way. Let's see if I can get you to see that a little better. Hold on. Oops. Sorry. Okay. This is a kind of spur of the moment thing. So <laughs> she was coming here today and I thought, oh, let me show you how to do these feet. Okay, so now once I trim around the base, I'll let this longer hair go, and then I'll bevel that into the foot that I just trimmed. She has very silky hair, so I'm going to use my finishing comb. And now I'm going to put a little bit of an angle on this back foot here. So right at the hock, I'm going to put a little angle, and that will flow into that foot. Okay, so, and, and it almost looks like they're walking on a cloud. It looks really pretty. I'll make sure I get underneath. And most people that like these dogs or Yorkies or anything long, this is all they want is this little feet trimmed like this and make them look real pretty. So whatever's hanging over is making a ledge. You just want to lightly scissor that off. Same thing on the inside, okay? And I'm gonna hold her tail up and any of this hair on the rear, I'm gonna have that fall down into that foot. So I don't want anything from the rear longer than that hock, okay? So I'm just gonna kind of blend that in. So it all, felt, it all looks real nice and neat and tidy. Okay, now I'll show you how I do the front foot. I'm gonna comb all this up. I don't have her on a loop right now because it's too hard for me to angle her the right way to show you, but normally I would have her on a grooming loop because you know these guys are tiny and they move a lot and they're, um, they can get away from you very quickly. So you always want them in a loop. Okay, so I'm gonna take all this long hair and I'm gonna hold it out of the way and then I'm gonna find her toe. Come here, sweetie. I don't know if I can do this without a loop. Just kind of find her toe and come around and scissor this in. So it's nice and neat. Normally I would do this on the table, but she's not in a loop, so it's making it a little harder to do that. And then I'll comb all this down. And then I'm gonna cut this flush with what I just cut. Come around. My cocker spaniel just walked in and now she wants, she wants to get down and play with him. You can't play with him. See now in the back, I'm gonna angle this down. It's okay, sweetie. Okay, angle this down. And I'm just kind of making like a little bevel foot. And they're very busy, these dogs, you know, these little Yorkies and tiny breeds like this, they seem to be very busy. They're always moving around and <laughs> they're very busy. Yes, you are. Okay, come here. And now I'm going to take, comb all this down and just round it out. Use your curves. Take your time. You want to put a slight angle with your blade. You don't want to hold your scissors straight up and down because you won't get a nice little bevel. You want it to be shorter at the base and then kind of come out on an angle. That's what's going to give you a pretty bevel. Okay. If I took this straight up and down, it's not going to, you're not going to get a beveled look. 
a slight angle with your shear. Okay. Let's see how you look, Missy. That's her tail under there. Okay, and she doesn't have a lot of hair on her underline. She's a little bit sparse because she's very thin. So all I'm gonna do is lightly just tip the ends just so it makes it look healthier. Okay. You can see this hair right here in the back when you get that up off the ground because we don't want her to drag that hair. So a lot of times I'll take the knee up. Let me hold the tail out of the way so I don't cut the tail hair. Hold the knee up and let it fall and just round that knee up. Okay, and see how cute they look? They just look nice and neat and tidy and that's usually all the client really wants, okay? Okay.